Open day in Alabama. He's gonna be in there somewhere. I said, Greg, it's, it's opening day at 7.50. We got all day. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna win a golden moose with that one. <laughs> no. Still got time to get a waffle Seven out. o'clock Bama time. <laughs> Open day in Alabama. Slept good last night down here at Riley's place. We're actually gonna go hunt with a friend of his that we met here a few years ago named Lee and he's got a lot of really good turkey ground and has been seeing some turkeys but we're going to be battling some really windy conditions today because I mean you could hear it just from inside this house just wind blowing like crazy so that'll be a little bit tough and then Tuesday it's going to be pouring down rain so uh, really probably all we got is today and then you know if Wednesday if we if we do hunt a little bit on Wednesday so uh, Excited about the season opening though. Maybe we'll uh, get in them this morning. I'm ready to go. Let's go smoke a turkey. Opening day in Alabama. Can't miss it. What's up, dude? What up, man? Y'all ready? You get in the mood? <laughs> yeah. Should be a nice day. <laughs> yeah. Windy. Yeah, very windy. We got a plan. Okay. Y'all yeah, ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I, I, those, you remember where we went last year? Yeah. Uh, I want to go right back there and okay. just get right on in there close to that field. Uh, just close. Because yeah. those two, those birds, you know, were there Sunday, what is today, Monday? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yesterday. Yesterday morning they were roosted right there. So. I want to get right there and get in there tight with them. Could, could be a long day. Could, could be a long day to win. Hens. Three hens. He's gonna be in there somewhere. I guess they might have left the field, I don't know. There's a little lip though. I ain't so sure. I think that one on the right. I think I think those are both long beards. Isn't that crazy? They didn't say a freaking word.
like he just left. Stay the course, or we go out there and go kill that turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Greg, it's, it's opening day at 7.50. We got all day. Give me a quick recap of what y'all saw. Uh, so, sounds like, I mean, I couldn't see great, but I think there was maybe three jakes. And they may have been long bears. It was just tough to say. They really weren't strutting or nothing. One strutter, and then probably four or five hens. But they just stayed in the back corner of that field. I mean, they never really got out here in the open. They just, I mean, they were probably within, you know, 100 yards. They never got closer, though. I saw a bunch of trees, a bunch of brush. I never could get, never could get my eyes on them really good to see if it was a gobbler or not, but I think I could see them blown up. I don't think they could see you with that face paint on. What? I got face paint on? <laughs> this is Nate Hosey. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. He just burnt some biscuits last night. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was I've been slaving in the kitchen. He was working on his transmission last night. <laughs> <laughs> really got out of hand. I knew I forgot to take a bath yesterday. Let's go pass it. was fine now. Burnt some biscuits. They just be working. He was working side on the fire department last night. <laughs> Put that fire out. Oh boy. Fast duty. We're doing. We're doing a hundred. Whoa. We're doing a hundred of them. Oh man. But my, dad, my dad signed it. Oh, I like that, man. Oh god. Yeah, he signed it. So. Oh, that's nice. Proceeds go, go toward uh, baby diapers. <laughs> baby stalkers, he comes to the turkey school. It's like we're just leaving him, you know what I mean? I think he's right to the right.
I should have got up. I should have got on that crest. It's kids 20 you we thought we should have gone further down maybe we should have maybe we should have come down maybe we should have went further back and called up a gobbler goblin turkey and out in front of him was the hen and just got beat by her turkey hunt is full of coulda shoulda woulda that's right well you put that on <laughs> wait, wait, i'm gonna show you how to make a a, a redneck chicken wing in the woods oh, okay. you just take potted meat uh, like cholula I don't have onions. That's for that's that's not for that's not for us. Potted meat, Cholula, and club crackers. That's a that's a redneck uh, chicken wing. Redneck chicken wing. Specifically yeah. Armour brand. Yes. That, yes. Okay. Definitely. 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 Chicken wing. Yeah, it's made with chicken, pork, uh, and pork is added. Uh, mm -hmm. So. <laughs> oh, it, don't don't worry. If it tastes like thermosel. I'm sorry, but they have to, they all have to ride. Oh, look here, look here. We've had, we have Tuna Creations. Herb and garlic. Herb? Yeah. Is that his name? <laughs> Whole grain Dijon mustard. Lee, he's ready for the grind. <laughs> Man, when he's I get in here, grind. I stay. And the cliff bars. If this doesn't scream all day, yeah. I don't know what does. Yeah, I don't play around. Realtree Road Trips is brought to you by Federal, First Products, Arctic Shield, Hoyt, Real trees, sausage and meats, and Onyx. What's the word this morning? I don't know. Oh, I can't, give, me can't quick, get... give me a quick, short and sweet recap of yesterday. No gobbles, no turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty short and sweet. Uh, man, we when we rode around all day yesterday. You know, the wind was kind of picking up, and uh, the wind's going to be even howling today. So maybe I think. You know, getting them right off the roost is probably going to be our best bet. And uh, I know Greg and Daniel hunted here, uh, kind of close to where we're going. There was there was two gobbling pretty good when they flew down. So I, we're kind of going all in for that this morning. How come your recap didn't discuss what you were doing at this time yesterday? Because it was asleep, right? <laughs> I was I was asleep. Or I think by this time I was panic driving, already uh, already pushing it a little bit late. I mean, we haven't been out of the truck for a minute. Just started walking and one cobbled right up here. It's already a better day than yesterday. We're going to try to figure out how to get on them. The only thing is when you got up the top of this ridge, it's so windy up here. It's kind of tough to compete with, but we know in the past hunting this place, typically there's always two or three birds up here. So hopefully we'll be in the middle of them. Road Trips is brought to you by Baku, Spartan, Redneck, Franke, Bushnell, Alps, and Hoist. Yeah, we're still after them. We, uh, we've been getting beat up pretty bad the last few days on Riley's place. Just tough conditions and uh, really windy. 
turkey's just not wanting to react really good, but uh, it's good Friday and we uh, switched to a totally different piece of property right outside of Phoenix City. And uh, this is a place that I've deer hunted a lot in the past. I haven't turkey hunted a lot here. But uh, my dad's got a couple Spartan cameras out and getting getting a couple long beards. And so we came out here and kind of went to where we thought they could be roosted. And immediately we got one goblin right here. And uh, I got Tyler and my dad here with me. So we're just going to kind of maneuver around in here and hope we can get on this turkey. It'll be a pretty quick deal. I don't know. Turkey gobble right there. Not far. He's close. He's right there at that gate.
Hey, that was uh, that was fun. That was awesome. <laughs> it's crazy. That son of a gun was skirting us. Yeah, he was skirting us hard. <laughs> Man, and like, I mean, you know, I threw up. I mean, just some soft yelps when you know we were set up on him that first time, and I kind of call like how you know we were going this way. Well, he went around us like you know we were heading that way. Man. I I don't know how much of them you're going to be able to see on the camera, but after getting beat up yeah. the way we have, and I'm, you know, I don't I just, really I care. I saw his head. Y'all couldn't see it. And I tried to whisper to you, and I, but he was out in the middle of this grass, just head by. He was in the grass. He was in the grass. Out here. And then finally, when he got on the other side, soft call to him, and then he was just, he wasn't going to come back through it. He was just walking around trying to find us. All by himself. By his lonesome. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That Man. little sucker just about got around us. He did. He's all by himself up there. He gobbled good like he was by himself. He, you know, when I didn't hear any hens or anything too, I was like, "Man, if we just call a few times, he might just come on." And he did. I wonder if that's even the same turkey that y'all been seeing. I don't know. I don't. It could definitely be a different one. Could be. Just not with all hens and jakes and stuff. Man, we getting we've been getting one. beat up in Alabama. I know. Not today though. There's a bigger one out here though. I'm, Is it I'm a bigger one? Sure. Yeah. Big one. How big? You think? Uh, well, you got I've seen you sent you pictures of. Does that look like the same one? I I, I can't tell. It's hard for me. To, God, he's got a rope. Yeah, look at that. Thick beard. Wow. Man, y'all are kind to let me come out here and shoot one of y'all's turkeys. It's fun. Well, the experience is what I wanted. We definitely got that. So bad for old Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> First turkey of the year, Alabama. Not going to win a golden moose with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hard to do that with no decoy. So crazy how you can be getting beat up all week and then change something up and then it just happens like, like that's, that was too easy. Still got time to go to Waffle House. Seven o'clock Bama time. <laughs>